everybody what's up and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel hi my name is shruti and i make videos related to curly hair beauty fashion and lifestyle if you like what you're seeing so far then make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel because it's free and why not today's video is going to be a huge makeup haul i got a bunch of new stuff and that's what i wanted to show and try it on myself this look i created using all the new makeup that i got and if you want to know how i got this makeup look which is sizzling then definitely keep on watching till the end and i bought all new makeup because i lost all my makeup in 2019 by the way like 2020 ke start mein i lost all of my makeup it was all shoved in a makeup pouch and i was carrying it somewhere and i lost it 2020 i didn't get any new makeup because it was not needed skin care was doing it for me and 2021 may i need to attend a lot of events and i needed new makeup so i got literally everything from base makeup se leke lipstick tak i literally had to repurchase everything and that's what i'm going to try it's going to be a first impression because there is a lot of things that i've never tried before a lot of them are going to be a review video because i've repurchased it so it's going to be an amazing video and by the way You see the background it's a new background i am obsessed with it i tweaked it a little bit more than uh, previous video se maine thoda aur kuch changes kiye and this is looking so good it's giving a nice romantic vibe i think it's looking very pretty i love it without further ado let's get started hey no 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 Let's tie the hair back so I don't have makeup on my hair. This is by the brand Hair Love India. I love their hair accessories. Now that my hair is out of my face, let's start with prepping our skin. It's always important to prep your skin before putting any makeup on. For face wash, I have used Derma Vive Hydra Cleanser. It's an amazing cleanser. Gets rid of all the dirt. without over drying my skin and i love that once my skin is nice and dry the second thing i like to use is plum facial oil i love that oil before applying any makeup on my face it gives a really nice dewy look which i love and to seal everything in i'm going to go ahead with a moisturizer by the brand new to derm moisturizing lotion this has vitamin e in it really good for your skin and is amazing before applying any makeup the finish it gives is really nice i'm going to take this much and apply all over my face The first thing I got is a primer. This is by the brand Colorbar Perfect Match Primer. I've never owned a primer before and I have few important events to attend. So I thought let's invest in this and I'm going to concentrate near my nose area. I feel that's why usually people have large pores i don't have a lot of large pores and this is a silicone based primer by the way great for people who have large pores to fill those pores in and to give a flawless finish let's see if the makeup sits in really well on this moving on to the base now for that i got maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 118 light beige hopefully this does suit me because i have two more shades from maybelline this is 320 natural tan this is literally the first foundation i ever got uh and this is not my skin color at all it's super dark for me and it oxidizes i would highly recommend to get like one or two shades lighter in the fit me range because this oxidizes a lot and the second one i have is 128 warm nude this is definitely i would say almost similar to my uh, skin color but i could do better i bought one more shade lighter because that also was feeling a little bit darker on my skin so hopefully 118 light beige works for me and one thing i love about the new packaging is a pump applicator none of those have a pump applicator i love that it's so less messy just take uh, i think two pumps will do and this is how the shade looks like i'm going to dot it all over And to blend everything in I'm going to use a beauty blender. This is again something that I bought recently and I love it. I think this is from the brand Miniso. I don't really um care about the brand for beauty blender. Any beauty blender works for me and this has been doing really good. Pehle wala kharab ho gaya so I bought a new one. Okay, this definitely looks way lighter for me. But hopefully it will oxidize into my skin color. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Okay, right off the bat, I love the finish that it gives. It literally feels like my skin. Uh, I know camera pe bahut zyada light lag raha hai, but in person, it's actually a very good match for my skin. I'm gonna take one more pump and cover my neck as well. Moving on to the concealer now. For that, again, I got Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 Sand. I love this concealer. This is definitely the second time I'm rebuying it, and I love it. It works really well, so I'm just gonna dot. And I'm gonna blend this in with the same beauty blender. I've definitely changed the way I apply concealer. I just dot few over here and that's it. First has to make that triangle thing and I feel that's wasting a lot of uh, product. This, this much works enough. This is definitely a little bit of highlighting but it's very similar to my skin color. So I love this shade for me. I have not applied any color corrector and still it does not give me any ashy look. I hate that gray looking uh, under eye, but it's not looking gray at all. It's covered very well. So I definitely need to set it with a powder now. I didn't get any new powder because I wanted to buy Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and they didn't have it in my shade. So for now, I'm going to use this. This is by the brand L'Oreal Paris Matte Magique All-in-One Matte transforming powder this is basically a compact powder it's all broken i like to put powder only where it's needed like my under eye area to set the concealer so it doesn't move or budge let's move on to the brows now because these definitely need some help and i bought a new palette this is by the brand mion i have never heard of this brand ever before and this is how the shades look like it does come with a Chotu mini brush as well, which I'm not going to use, but it's great for traveling purposes. Look at the color. It also, the pigmentation is really good as you can see. This is the brown shade. This is the taupe shade, I believe. Very light, definitely, but it's a brow product. You really don't want it to be super dark, right? This is the black shade brown taupe and uh, black i like to really use uh, these two shades the brown and taupe color is really good and i think it will go very well with the indian natural brow color This is the before and after, as you can clearly see. Drastic difference. I think brows can make such an impact. And I love how it's looking. It's looking super natural. It's not looking super dark. And you know, that drawn up eyebrows. I love natural looking eyebrows. And this palette, I would highly recommend. It's amazing. Now that the eyebrows are taken care of, let's move on to the eyes. Now, I've not bought any new eyeshadow palette, but I did get liquid eyeshadows. This is by the brand Usha's Glitter Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I've got two shades. Uh, this is like a very beautiful champagne color and this is silver. It looks silver, but it has a water very beautiful color i'll show you guys in the swatches this is 01 and this is 05 again don't know whether you'll get it on amazon or nika but i got it from a local shop this is how the applicator is it has a doe foot applicator and this is how the pigmentation looks like look at it it's so good this is how the blended looks like and this is how like one stripe of it looks like super pigmented this is how the silver looks like i don't know if you guys can see this literally looks like water and it has like silver sparkle very beautiful. I feel liquid eyeshadows look really good when you don't have a lot of powder on your eyelids. It looks really beautiful on your skin. I think the inner corner is looking really good and I feel like I need a good pigmentation so I'm not going to blend it out this time. Okay, I think I like this. Now I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm gonna let it dry and then go in with one more darker transition shade and blend everything in. I'm gonna go ahead with this transition shade and darken it up a bit. 
तोड़ गया है वो इसके लिए आधे से ज्यादा मिसिंग है उसमें से I didn't get any new eyeliner because I have one already. So we're gonna skip that and move on to mascara because I got a new one. This is by the brand L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm not super impressed by it. Let me curl this one and then use it. Let's see the difference. This is a good hack, by the way. If you feel like your mascara is looking super clumped and uh, you don't like that look of spidery eyebrows, sorry, eyelashes, then it's a good trick to use a spoolie and just brush those hair out, and this will get rid of any excessive mascara. Yeah, I like this much better. I think I'm gonna go ahead with the same shade and uh, fill the bottom as well to tie the whole look together. I feel this eyeshadow definitely does have a lot of fallout, as you can see, and I also touched it with these fingers, so that's my problem as well. But it definitely does have fallout. I would highly recommend to do the eye makeup before if you're applying something like a glitter. Do it before and then do your face makeup. Make sure you use a micellar water or a makeup remover and just wipe all the excess jo bhi fallout hua hai. Wipe it off and then go ahead with your face makeup. But I have already done that, so I'm just gonna skip that. But it's a good tip. I didn't get any new blush or bronzer because I have it already. Nasib se ye to maine nahi guma. I love this blush palette. This is by the brand Savanna Colors Ultra Blush Palette Zero Four, and absolutely love the colors. These are all blushes, by the way, and this is a bronzer and this is a highlighter. I literally use this. Every single time I do my makeup, this is the blush palette I go for. I think I'm gonna use this only today because I didn't get any new one. Video pe itna nahi dekhega because you have to apply like good amount of it to actually show on camera. But in person, it looks really beautiful. I feel blush is enough. Now let's move on to the bronzer. Also, like to put a little bit over here near the forehead to give a smaller forehead appearance, and it just adds a really beautiful natural like tan. Gives a very sun-kissed look. I like it. Okay, uh, moving on to highlight now. For highlight, I bought Maybelline Master Strobing Cream. Now, this is something that you can apply before putting on makeup if you want a dewy look, or you can use this as a highlighter as well. And that's what I'm gonna use today as a highlighter. Just a very tiny amount. And you can use your fingers. Or you can use your beauty blender. It just gives a very beautiful glow to the skin. Uh, I hate highlighters which have like their chunky particles. Absolutely hate it. I love that inner glowy look that this gives. Ooh, look at that. Lipstick, I'm gonna use a new one that I just got. This is by the brand Sugar Cosmetic Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dawn Font 12. I love this lipstick. The way it's looking on this makeup look, it's looking so good. I didn't expect it to look this good, but I love this shade. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I really like it. Uh, the pigmentation and the way it's settling on the lips, it's not super drying. It is a matte lipstick and no, it does not transfer at all. And this is a very good makeup look for New Year's or any party event. I think. If you enjoyed
enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button or dislike kar do kuch to kar do so i would know if you enjoy such content or not and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys feel about makeup content on my channel i definitely want to branch out and experiment a little bit more with makeup i bought so much makeup and i really enjoy doing it so let me know in the comments down below and uh, all the products that i mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description down below don't worry about it along with my shades and jo bhi palettes maine dikhaye hai wo sab ke bare mein main description mein de dungi agar mujhe nykaa pe ya fir amazon flipkart kisi pe bhi mila i'll put the links in the description down below don't worry about it and prices will be on the screen of everything and i think that's it common shout out goes to bhavna choudhary bhavna thank you for your comment it really means a lot and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Clearly, I don't see myself upon.